This is my mom. I don't know if this was high. I forgot to ask her if this was actually high school or her graduating teacher's college. I live the two worlds because when I was really young, my, my mom moved off the reserve and I don't recall everywhere. I think we lived in, I think they lived in Toronto for a little bit and then Ottawa mostly. And then I kind of lived in the non-Aboriginal world, but I also lived in the First Nations world and in, in the community. So to put it into perspective, I'm Birch Island, Ontario from Ottawa is about seven hours away. So there was a lot of traveling. Uh, I spent an extensive amount of time in the community. Um, when I was young growing up, my parents used to drop me off with my grandparents. I think in the era that I was raised in, I wasn't really, I wasn't really taught about RSPs. I wasn't really taught about saving money. It was just, you lived your life and you, as a child, as a youth, we just grew up having fun, playing with our friends. And I wasn't really, I wasn't brought up in a world of understanding finances. Way back when I knew my grandfather uh, had a trap line. I knew my grandfather, um, it was a tough struggle uh, that they, the way my grandfather raised money was through trapping. So that's how he provided for his community and then opening and closing cottages. And that's how he raised the money for his family to be able to, to eat and a lot of fishing. We, the staple was a lot of fish. You wanted for nothing, it was, also, it was such a healthy lifestyle. So when you sat down and you ate, it was food that was right from Mother Earth, like right there in the community. And you know, when we ate, whether it was fishing, we went out fishing in the morning, we came back, we provided. Uh, so we had fish fries, so it was, there was nothing ever about money. It was just, everything was right there off the land. And as long as you respected it, you really, um, really understood that Mother Earth could really provide for you without, with all this fast pace, you know, looking at our watches and, oh, we have to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It wasn't like, it wasn't like that back then. If you were hungry, you ate. You know, when the, when the sun went down and it got darker, oh, it's time for bed. And I think those were probably the most enjoyable times I've had, you know, waking up in the morning with my grandmother making a bannock and, uh, and blueberries, the smell of it um, just resonates with me. And I just remember those, those memories and I, um, they're both deceased now, but I, I, I really miss them a lot and, and that time I spent with them. So it's important to me, they were good people. And, uh, they had really good, um, they lived a simple life and uh, I think that a lot of people could learn from that. A message from the Government of Canada.